Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Health on this sensational Sunday. The sugar rules, running man, running baby, all on sugars of all forms, man. Now listen, I just got off an hour bike ride and a 40 minute run, and I felt like I could have done another hour on each if I wanted to. I will probably go out and do another hour on the bike uh, this afternoon. Uh, it's supposed to rain later today, so I'll get out before that. But, um, and at this point in my life, <coughs> I don't want to beat up my legs, my joints. So I do the bulk of it on, um, bulk of the miles on the um, bike, stationary right over my shoulder or the outdoor bike. Caught a warm day today. It's going to be in the low 50s, which is plenty warm for me to get out on the bike. So I will do that. Um, all I've had is juice and sugar water so far. And that is all I will have until I come back for my bike ride, which will be about oh, 12 o'clock. It is not quite 7.30 now. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Guys, listen sugar in all its forms. I can't say it enough. You want to call it carbs. You want to call it fruit. You want to call it, you can call it whatever you want. Guys, at the end of the day, it's a glucose drip in the emergency room. That is what fuels every cell of your body. That is what the only thing that fuels the brain. Glucose, glucose, glucose. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Now, watch. I just got smarter. <laughs> Apple, grape, with some sugar for taste. Now, here in the Northeast, depends on where you live. Here in the North, the Northeast, this time of year, the fruit isn't great. The fruit isn't great. If you can find a watermelon, they're very, very bland. I love melons, as you know that. Love it. The watermelon juice, oh, God, it's like all I drank this summer. It was great. Uh, the apples, the oranges, I mean, they're all right. They're all right. Bananas are the same thing year-round, pretty much. But, guys, they're not great. It's not like we live in Thailand. It's not like we live in Brazil and, and can just, you know, take the fruit off. No. It's months weeks, months before we, we get it in our mouth. And so sometimes, not all the time, sometimes from my way of thinking, it needs a little kick. So I throw the sugar in because the natural sugars are not there. We talked about this before. Once you take something off the tree, once you take something off the vine, the grapes, once you take something out of the ground, the potato, the carrot, guys, you are separating it from its energy source and it dies. If we separate ourselves from our energy source, we die, okay? And from there, all the vitamin, minerals, nutrients, biophotons, everything, the content in those wonderful, wonderful foods begins to dissipate. And you, me, nobody has any idea how long it was before it was taken off the vine and put in our mouth. Ideally, we would have live in a climate where we could grow all our own bananas and all our own citrus and all our own apples and all that sort of stuff. Hmm, I feel like an apple. I feel like an apple smoothie. Apple and banana smoothie. Hmm. You just go take it off the vine, you put it in the blender. That's ideal. I don't have it. Chances are you don't have it. When uh, my parents used to uh, keep a place in Florida, and they would go down snowbirds, they would go down in winter. Loved it. And in the back, they had enormous orange and grapefruit trees. And that time of year, my father would just go out in the back and either take them off the ground, they had just recently fallen, or literally take them off the tree. And when they came back up north, they would have this whole little crate of oranges and grapefruit for each of us me and my two brothers and my sister. And I'll tell you what, 
what those tasted like, I have never tasted an orange or grapefruit like that before. It's a completely different thing. You, ha you, you eat this stuff literally right off the tree, and you think, what the heck am I eating from the grocery store? It's not this. Yeah, it's probably weeks, months removed. It's been dead for a month. Guys, if, what would we look like if we, if we were just sitting in a crate for a month after we died? We, we wouldn't even resemble the form that we are now. Guys, that's what's going on. That's what's going on. So the point is, to get the sugar content from these things, you, you've got to augment it to us. Right? It's as simple as that. But guys, the ultimate, ultimate diet for runners, cyclists, any endurance is fruits, vegetables, sugar, Fruits, vegetables, sugars, and nuts. Okay, I am going to, again, if I get back on the bike, and I think I will, if I get back on the bike, guys, I'm going to be ravenous the rest of the day. So I'm eating, I'm filling up on smoothies with sugar. I will have some sort of a rice slash pasta dish, carbs. I'm telling you, sugars in all their forms. Sugar rules, man. Sugar Rules, and I uh, this book, The, will outline all the sugar rules and how they will pertain to your life. Okay? Shoot me 10 bucks. Contact me at the email at the end of all these videos. That email is also my PayPal account. You shoot me 10 bucks into that PayPal account. As soon as I get it, I will attach it to an email you will have it to. It's the greatest, if you're a runner or a cyclist, it's the greatest book you'll ever read. Sugar, sugar, sugar. No fat. Less than 10 grams of fat per day. Now, there is fat in fruits and vegetables. Every single fruit and vegetable you eat, there is fat in it. Minute fat. It's not like, you know, uh, Stephen Gunner. Start the day and end the day with, with olive oil. What a, what a, what a ass. What an absolute ass. Anyway, different video. Guys, keep your fat intake in the oils and nuts, seeds, oils, and avocados are very, very high in fat. Okay? Keep it less than 10 grams a day. And the world is yours, Chico. Everything. Okay, guys. Love you all. Go for it.